Hello, it's the 12th of uh, February today and there's a couple of things that I'm going to do in the greenhouse. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off uh, my shallots. Now I, I, I have grown shots to lots before but um, I just haven't grown any for several years I'm not quite sure why um, and when I sowed the onions um, somebody said to me are you doing shallots and I thought hang on a minute I haven't done those so I went to our DIY store and I got some shallots today so um, I'll show you how um, how to start those off um, I'm also going to sow from seeds some broad beans um, broad beans can either go in uh, sort of late autumn of the previous year and then you sort of overwinter them or you can start them in sort of the greenhouse or cold frame in sort of February March time um, but I'm going to start them in February because they don't because you can overwinter them they obviously don't mind getting a little bit on the chilly side um, I have tried before sowing these straight out into the ground and they just don't work they uh, the, the germination rate was absolutely pathetic um, so I find personally starting them off um, inside um, always gets better results so let me show you how I'm going to do those uh, both of those I will do the broad beans first for you and I will sow those in three inch pots so let me show you how to do that right so I've got um, a three inch pot here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with multi-purpose compost the reason I'm putting these in three inch pots is because they'll be in here for quite a while and if you start them off in a seed tray there's just not enough space for them to grow um, because of the the depth and the space that they have to to grow in the uh, the seed tray so personally I find that three inch pots are, um, are always a good um, a good thing to start them off in it means that they can actually stay in these three inch pots until you plant them out and you don't have to transplant them either okay so let me just do one more the variety i've got this year are called bunyards exhibition they are very very good they've come from pennard plants i got them when i went up to gardener's world um, in june last year um, and uh, they're supposed to be really really long pods um, and uh, and grow very very well you're supposed to get lots of beans inside now these are the uh, the broad bean seeds um, they are huge um, so they do need putting them in a three inch pot is absolutely perfect so what I would suggest you do is once you've filled all your um, three inch pots I'm just going to do a few just to show you just put a seed on top of each one like that and then when you've put a seed on top of each uh, each pot then just push them down now you want to push them down about an inch okay there we are now some people We'll either put them flat like that or you can put them on the side like that. It's entirely up to you. Um, some people do worry that um, if they lay flat, like in your uh, your courgettes and stuff, that they would, um, would start to go mouldy. But if you don't overwater them, you won't have a problem um, with them going mouldy. So once you've pushed them all down, then just fill in that hole. and then they're done so I'll just finish the rest of them off and then when I've done them all I'll show you what to do with them next right I've um, put one seed in each pot and I've actually got 19 so there's 10 in this tray and then 9 in that tray make sure you then label them and then give them a water okay you don't have to be super duper careful with these um, because the seeds as you saw are really quite large 
um, so they don't mind an extra bit of water. Somebody did say to me, why do I not water from the, the bottom upwards? Um, the reason for that I don't do is because if you water from the bottom upwards, all the soil gets really, really wet. If you've got very delicate seeds in there, the, the compost could stay wet for too long, um, therefore rotting the seeds. So that's why I don't do it and I always water from the top. Um, because if you plant a tiny, tiny seed um, in the top bit of the compost, you don't need the bottom bit wet, you only need the top bit wet whilst it's just starting to grow and gravity will pull down any water. So that's why I do it from top to bottom. Okay, so I will put um, a propagator lid on those uh, and I will keep them in the greenhouse uh, and I will show you their progress as they get on um, but now let's move on to the shallots now the shallots that I've got this year are called golden gourmet they're actually very big some shallots um, when you buy them are actually really quite tiny um, sometimes they're about the same size as like an onion set um, I have grown Golden Gourmet before and they did do very, very well. You'll sow um, one of the shallots and then as it grows it will split um, and then you, um, you harvest them like you do with the onions when the, all the leaves on the top have gone brown and you just dig the whole lot up. Uh, but I will show you that when we come to it. Um, these you will sow in exactly the same way as you sow your, um, your garlic cloves and also your onion sets. Um, they're just bigger. But as I say, there are so many different varieties out there that you can find. So please feel free to, to try whatever ones you want. Okay, so um, I'm going to, uh, to start these off. You can sow them straight outside, but... I like to give them just a little bit of a head start so I will sow them inside to start with I'll start them off and I will start these off not in half toilet rolls because they're so large uh, the half toilet rolls just don't have enough space in them I'm going to start these off in three inch pots so um, I will show you how I do that now there are apparently there are 12 um, in this bag Sometimes there are an extra couple, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Uh, and when you um, buy them from uh, a garden center, just um, check the bulbs before you, um, you buy them. I went through quite a few bags before I found a bag where there wasn't one soft one in there. Okay, because they've been standing on this or sitting on the shelf for quite a while they've most probably been flung about quite a bit so um, just check them before it, um, you purchase them to make sure that they're all okay okay so I'll just um, fill these to start with now just fill your three inch pot just with normal multi-purpose compost and then all you need to do is you need to get your shallot and you need to make sure that the root end is down and the top is pointing up. Just give it a gentle push just to make sure that um, it's not soft um, and that there aren't any, um, uh, any bad patches, mouldy patches. And all you do is you just put it in the middle of the pot and just push it down. Now the reason I push it down so far is because when the roots start to grow they'll actually push it up and you'll most probably find in a couple of weeks time that it's sitting sort of quite high in the soil like that so if you start them off here then they'll end up being pushed over so that's why I push them down quite a long way um, I'll just show you some of my garlic because if you watch the um, when I sowed the garlic, I did push the garlic right down and as you can see or hopefully you can see the roots are starting to grow here and it's pushed the garlic clove all the way up so that's why I push them right down to the bottom. Okay so I will just carry on doing these when you've put your clove, when you put your your shallot in just push the the soil just round it and then we'll move on to the next one so I'll carry on doing all these and I'll come back to you in a bit 
Okay, so there are the shallots. There were 12 of them. Uh, all I'm going to do now is just give them a water. You don't need to cover these with a propagator lid at all um, and just keep an eye on them. If the soil gets dry, then just give them um, another water uh, and hopefully in a couple of weeks time we'll start to see shoots coming up from the top and the roots will start to work their way down um, from the through the bottom um, but we won't see the roots until they start to come out um, out the end but these will stay in the greenhouse until they're ready to go outside which will be most probably the beginning of March so um, or maybe it depends on the weather it could be the middle of March um, so they are going to be in the greenhouse for a good five possibly six weeks so hopefully they'll um, they'll start to get nice and substantial and they'll they'll have some nice um, growing tips on them and a good root system underneath so when I put them outside then um, they'll be um, able to grow um, and cope with being in the outside world so that's the shallots okay so that's it for today uh, so that's the shallots on the go the broad beans um, are over here they've got their propagator lid on so um, hopefully they'll start to poke through the the soil in a couple of weeks as well depending on the weather um, we are due a couple of quite cold nights um, so we'll just have to see how how they go um, they might be a bit late coming through um, through the soil but we'll just have to see but um, I will take photos when they do start to grow and then I'll stick it on the blog so then you can see how they're getting on um, but when I put them outside both of the ones that I've sown today I put them out into the allotment I will show you and um, then you can see how far to space them how low to put them and all the other things that you need to know okay well I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you very soon bye bye